comes to leveling up your content creation, the name of the game is to work smarter, not harder. In this tutorial, I will be showing you 19 different ways on how to reuse one piece of an original content idea that you can reuse throughout many different social media platforms so that you can gain content marketing strategies, maximize your visibility, and reach a wide variety of different audiences. If you are new here, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can keep seeing more tips and tricks. Have you ever heard of the golden rule when it comes to content marketing? The most content equals the more reach equals the more successful you'll be, resulting in more eyes on your Instagram post, blog, TikTok, reel, or views on your YouTube video. When it comes to content marketing, frequency and consistency is key to see optimal growth. Look, I understand it's hard to make so much content every day and consistently be able to produce it and create it, it takes time and it takes a lot of energy. But what if I told you that you can just use one piece and optimize it in many different avenues? Many creators make great content, but then they're only posting once a month. And that is not the route that we want to take. We want to keep building a relationship with our audience and to do so, we have to keep posting. And with our post, we'll just keep reusing some of the same stuff we've already created, which will make it easier on us and will keep the viewer happy. What if I told you there is a way to reuse your content to gain more traction, more followers, engage your audience, and promote your product, service, or brand? You might be asking yourself the question, won't your audience get annoyed by seeing the same content reposted in different forms? No, here's why. Within your audience, you have different sectors of where your audience hangs out. Some of your audience members like to read. Some like to watch YouTube videos that tend to be longer. Some like to watch TikToks or Instagram reels and some just like to keep business as usual and scroll on LinkedIn. The reality of it all is that we all like to hang out in different spots of the internet. And that is why it is easy to just take that content and optimize it so that every different form in every sector is still getting that media, just digesting it differently. And let's be honest, how much content do you actually remember unless you're consistently watching the same video every day? The audience won't recognize that. They'll just see that you're pumping out content and keeping the audience engaged. So let's dive right into the process to repurpose content and maximize engagement. So it all starts with creating one high quality content once a week. Number one, a YouTube video. Making one eight to 10 minute YouTube video gives you the opportunity to take snippets from the video and release it amongst other platforms, making it morph into its specific mold. Whether it's a reel, a TikTok, a LinkedIn post, whatever you'd like it to be. Number two, a blog post. Every YouTube video can be generated into a transcript and then you'll take that transcript and make it into a blog post, giving not only an organic following, but giving your audience that option if they just want to read it instead of watching it. Maybe they're sitting at their porch outside and just want to enjoy the nice day and read your blogs. Of course, there'll be some editing because when you're reading a blog, you don't have to remind the audience member to like, comment, or subscribe, so you'll have to take that portion out. Number three. A LinkedIn article, so essentially what you do is you take that blog post and you put it on LinkedIn as a link to your website so that you not only have more content on another platform, you're reaching a different audience. I mean, of course, individuals who are on LinkedIn is made for business and in connections and networking. 
you are still getting that other side of the audience while reaching maximum visibility. Now, for the next step, we will be changing our content just a tad. Number four, a weekly content email. Rather than just sending an email and saying, hey everyone, just made a new YouTube video, make something personalized so that the individuals who are subscribed to your weekly email can feel that they have some sort of privilege or exclusivity that people who are watching your YouTube videos or watching your TikToks can't see. This ensures that the client feels at ease and it makes them feel they are getting an extra detail while being loyal to your brand, product, or service. Number five, a social graphic. On the day that the YouTube video is posted, make sure to repost the thumbnail across Instagram so that your audience is aware that you posted a new video and it gets them excited to go and click on the link so that they can watch it. In the description, make sure to add a caption and a call to action. This is a really easy and straightforward tool because your audience can share with their friends and if they find the thumbnail entertaining or engaging, they'll repost it on their story. Number six, short form videos. So in the days, weeks, and months after creating your video, you're gonna wanna take those snippets and turn them into reels and TikToks so that not only you're hitting another audience, you're making them engage. Kind of like showing them a trailer so that they're excited and have some anticipation for your new video. And of course, add subtitles and captions because most of the time, people are kind of scrolling through reels and TikToks while at lunch, work, school, and they necessarily can't hear it. So having those subtitles and captions will ensure that they know exactly what you're talking about and what the next video will be about. Also, don't be afraid to get creative with the caption. Come up with something witty. Number seven, a carousel post. Carousel posts are image-based learning, kind of like an infographic. Take some of the main points of the tutorials and topics and summarize them into short phrases that are easy to digest and engage with. Come up with a new hook so that the content can feel new and exciting. And again, in the following days, weeks, months, and sometimes even years, you can keep revisiting and repurposing content in new and exciting ways. With just a tad bit of creativity and individuality, your audience won't even recognize that it's repurposed, and they'll just see it as new content and a new form that you've added to the page. So let's review the 19 ways on how we can repurpose one piece of content. It starts with one YouTube video that you can convert into one blog post, then one LinkedIn article that you share with an email, one email, then you share three social media posts that you can post on all five social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and LinkedIn, equaling 19 ways they can get one piece of content in front of multiple audiences. All right, well, I hope you found this video useful and I hope that this reminds you to work smarter, not harder. And I hope to see your repurposed content out there on your page and for your audience to see. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video.